A heavy rope, 50 feet long, weighs 2 pounds per foot and hangs over the edge of a building 120 feet high. How much work is done in pulling the rope to the top of the building? I like drawing a sketch to help my brain see what's happening. First of all, the 120 feet really doesn't have anything to do with the building as long as the building is taller than the rope is long. Next, we'll focus on the rope, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit to that rope, get a bigger picture of that. And similar to how we integrated by breaking up integration into n rectangles, we're going to break this rope up into n different sections, just an infinite number of sections here. And we're going to focus on one of those sections. And let's call that width delta x. Now let's talk about the work required to lift this tiny little section to the top of the building. Focus on that one section. Work is force times displacement. So the force of that slice is going to be two pounds per foot. So if it were a one foot section we would have two, if it were two it would be four, if it were three it would be six. And so we have two times the delta x. And the next thing we want to talk about is the displacement. So let's talk about how far, how far down that width is. Let's call it x units down. The displacement that that slice has to go through to get to the top of the building is x. So displacement we'll call x. And now work, if we start with the limit notation, the work is going to be the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum i equals 1 to n of 2 times x times delta x. And I guess technically we need the x sub i. We'll now rewrite this using our limit notation. We have the integral, and now the limits of integration. Let's go back to our rope, the zoomed in version. Let's start the zero at the top, and it goes to 50 feet long. So we're integrating from zero to 50. Function is 2x, and we now have dx. From here, we'll integrate. We get x squared, and we're evaluating from 0 to 50. That is 50 squared minus 0 squared. This is 2,500, and the units in this case, foot pounds. How much work is done in pulling half the rope to the top of the building? Now your intuition might be to simply cut the previous work in half, but that's not quite the case. Let's focus on that zoomed in portion of the rope and talk about why. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to break that rope into two different pieces. The top half, which is going from 0 to 25, and then the bottom half, which is 25 to 50. Let's focus on one slice of the top part. That slice is still delta x. The force to pull that slice to the top is still two pounds per foot. So it's two delta x, as it was last time. And the displacement that that piece has to move is still x feet. We're still moving x feet in the top portion. The work there for the top is in the integral from 0 to 25, 2x dx. Now the bottom is where it gets a little different. Let's focus on one slice of the bottom. It's still delta x. The force on that slice is still 
two pounds per foot, so two delta x. But what's changing here is the displacement. We don't want the displacement to be x in this case because this slice is not going the full length to the top of the building. It's not moving all the way x units or x feet. It's only moving half the length of the rope, in this case, 25 feet. So the displacement for the bottom part is 25. The work for the bottom is then the integral from 25 to 50 to times 25 dx. To get the total work done, let's add those. So if we focus on the work for the top, let's see, we'll pull out the two. That will give us one half x squared evaluating from 0 to 25 plus let's see, 2 times 25 is 50 so that will give us 50x and we are evaluating from 25 to 50 2 times 1 half is just 1 that means we have 25 squared minus 0 plus 50 times 50 minus 50 times 25. 25 squared plus 50 times 50 minus 50 times 25. This will give us 1,875, and the units in this case, foot pounds. So this is the total amount of work required to lift half the rope to the top of the building.